Hey guys, welcome back to Westland. I hope you have seen my previous vlogs or on my journey to the Sabarimala and all and also to Gandhi Kota and Belam Caves. So this is our fourth vlog where we are on our journey from Tirumala to the Japali Anjaneya Swami Temple. So if you start from Tirumala, the Venkateshwara Temple, it's around 4.2 kilometers and it, you will reach in around 10 to 15 minutes. So once you reach the Japali Road, you have to go on a walk for around 2 kilometers. So the trial won't be that difficult. So this is the Akash Ganga Dam that you are seeing now. So generally you would have come to Tirumala, the, the main temple, but you would have missed to see this Japali temple. So this video is for those who have missed to see the Japali Anjaneya Swami temple. So from the Akash Ganga, from nearby around 10 steps, you can find the Japali Anjaneya Swami temple entrance. So this is the entrance you are actually seeing. You have steps. So you have the steps and you just need to climb through these steps for around 2 kilometers to reach the Japali Anjaneya Swami temple. The path is not very tiring as you are surrounded with lot of trees and you don't find the uh, sun, hot sun in your, in your way. Tirumala is encircled by a number of sacred water bodies that is the Tirthams and all those Tirthams are known for its holiness. Among them, Japali Tirtham is most widely known Holy Tirtham, which is being visited by most pilgrims. The prime attraction here is the temple dedicated to Lord Hanuman, that is the Anjaneya Swami. The stones you are seeing now is one of the beliefs of the pilgrims who come here. They actually build these stones and believe that they would be able to construct a real home in their life as well. So there are many uh, stone made buildings in this area as you can see now. There are a lot of such uh, uh, made stones and you won't find stones even to build a one for yourself. And even we did uh, build a few of uh, houses like what you say. The few of buildings made up of irregular stones here. So this is the one I had uh, uh, built. So after this we resumed our journey back to the temple. Don't forget to take your water bottles as you would have to walk for around 2 kilometers and you also have some small uh, uh, shops where you can get some buttermilks and also some mangoes. So walking through this you also see a man there, he acts as a statue, he would stand here from morning till evening. The walls in the corner of the steps would bring back the kid in yourself and you would also love to walk on it, right? <laughs> so these guys are with me. Hi! <laughs> the Japali Anjane Swami temple at the Japali Tirtham is one of the least known and most worthy places of visit in Tirumala. Pilgrims visiting Tirumala will never fail to take a bath in this Japali Tirtham as it is believed that all their sins and evils will be washed out when they dip in the Tirtham. And those couples who don't have kids tie these cradles here on the trees on a belief that they will soon have their kids. You can also find these wild squirrels on your way to the Japali temple. Some of them uh, also come near you to get the coconuts that you have in your hand. So while we return on our way from the temple, we can just feed these squirrels and have some fun time with them as well. It is said that Lord Rama with his consort Sita and brother Lakshmana stayed here along with Lord Hanuman. There is a perennial pond called as the Rama Quind in the temple premises that was said to be the source of drinking water during the stay here. So as you could see we have reached the temple there are some small shops for you to buy flowers and also coconut to perform the pujas for the god. You have a pond here. And that is the temple that you are seeing now. 
so a monkey is coming near me <laughs> yeah yeah here he is <laughs> So actually photography is not allowed inside the temple so I could show you the temple only from outside. So we are in the temple premises. You also have proper restroom facilities here so you need not worry on that. This is the tree on which uh, Lord Ganesha's uh, appearance is actually formed naturally on it. So you can see it here. So this is the complete 360 degree view of the temple premises. So there is the temple. There is also a place for you to break your coconuts outside the temple. So after breaking the coconuts you can also take them and feed them to the squirrels and the monkeys that you had already seen. Hi guys, hope you liked the Japali temple. So when you come to Tirupati, don't forget to visit here. We will meet you in another vlog. Until then, bye from Girish. On our way back down, we also went to the deer park and we also feed them, some of them. And uh, we had some fun time over there. I hope you liked the vlog. If you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe our channel so you'd get more kind of vlogs in our channel. So do subscribe and support us. Please share this video to your friends who are actually planning a trip to Thirmala. We'll meet you in another vlog. Until then, bye from Girish.